Yup, we now have our first game. It's Illuminubi versus Slim. Both are running Lucy, which is a very rare unit to see these days. This map only has one box, and Lim takes the first box against the Ogma. Ogma is definitely not a good matchup against Ara. Like, if you want to make Ogma work here, it's definitely just gonna be for stealing boxes. But so far, Illuminubi is not able to steal any boxes away from Lim. Lim now with the two box lead. And Ogma is one weapon skill away from getting chained. Lim actually gets the third boss. It's, this is not looking good for Illuminubi. They actually wasted their Ogma for no reason. They're actually dying to the chain skill as well. So they actually barely managed to damage the Ara and gave them a 3 boss lead and then their Ogma died for no reason. That's actually a very bad... Um, like, th this is not going good for Illuminubi right now. And also, it's gonna be a water unit against their Lucy and um, Lucy is actually quite bad against summoners as well. Lim actually trying. Oh, Lim is just using Ara for the boxes now. Actually, t um, lets the summon tank a bunch of the weapon skill ticks. Now with the three box lead, Illuminupi was not able to get any value out of that weapon skill. Lim, I think Lim is now um, trying to go for the kill. Yeah, but does not get the lethal shot. Gets one more boss before taking down Illuminupi, and I think this is gonna be one v three. It's a five boss. Um, Ara versus a Mark ninety nine. I don't think Mark ninety nine stands a chance here anymore. Though Illuminubi does have the Ogma, this Mark 99 might be tanky enough. Lim is trying to play around the summon, though with the health lead, it's gonna be difficult for Illuminubi to come back now. Though surprisingly, Mark 99 is still actually winning the dogfight even with a 5 boss lead with uh, Ara. Yeah, but it's still not enough. Lim is gonna take the first game. 3-0 for the Ara here. What a clean sweep on the first one. Wow, Lim is actually dealing so much more damage to their Ara now. Like, this is supposed to be just a, a damage trade, but Lim is dealing so much more damage than, uh, than Siraka's Ara. And Lim also with the one boss lead. Um, Siraka misses the weapon skill. Almost the entire weapon skill. Not, not the entire thing. Oh. But now Lim's Ara gets taken down. But it should be easily cleaned up by the Mariel. As long as Siraka does not mess this up, I don't think they're gonna take too much damage against the Ara here. One weapon skill should be enough to take this down. Siraka, yep. Almost taking zero damage there. I think it's fine. But that's definitely not a good um, good trade for Siraka because you want your Ara to win the, the mirror so that you, you actually have your water unit against their Lucy. But Lucy versus Mary is not actually an unwinnable matchup for Siraka. Yeah, Camel still has a very good chance of winning against Lucy, to be honest. Yeah, Lucy trying their best to run because you cannot dogfight Camel even as a fire unit. That's the uh, that's the thing. <laughs> oh, Camel though misses the entire weapon skill. Yeah, misses the second weapon skill on Camel again. Too bad for Siroka there. Yeah, but I think uh, I think they messed up with the Mariel. The Mariel could have done way more damage against Lucy than um, than they actually dealt. Now it's gonna be Ara against a double tank FP. Ara actually gets the box here. Double tank FP is actually gonna struggle against Ara because usually. Uh, Oh, that's actually a good animation cancel from the FP there. They actually had a chance to hit Lim there. They're actually sacrificing for a box. Though that's only the first weapon skill from Lim. Oh, they actually hit the summon. I'm actually surprised. I thought the FP was gonna hit the Ara with that skill there. Now, takes the second uh, the second weapon skill from Ara here. FP is gonna need to find a window to actually chain. Oh, actually chain Slim. Are they gonna get the kill here? Oh, not enough. I, I don't think AB expected the chain. That's why they ran very far away. Like if they actually chased um, as they chain, I think they could have um, gotten the kill on the on the Ara. Yeah, very unfortunate for AB there. So like if you're not running double tank FP, that would have killed. No, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Lim just taking a few bosses here before uh, before falling. 
does manage to get two. Did AB get any boxes? I don't think they did. Oh, never mind. They both have two bosses now. So, so they're now even in boxes. And it's Samira against Lucy, which I'm not really sure who wins this. I, I, I'm, if I'm gonna guess, I think it's Lucy. Because Lucy has more movement speed and Lucy can actually um, very convincingly dodge Samira's weapon skills. Though AB does try for a prediction skill there, almost gets it. But yeah, he kind of missed. <laughs> I don't think the second weapon skill is gonna change, especially if Lim knows how to dodge. Lim does take a few ticks from that weapon skill, but yeah, Lim does not get the chain skill either. Is AB gonna get the chain skill here? We'll see. Boom. Actually, gets the chain skill. Oh, but there's not enough time and Lucy still survives. But I think Priscilla can actually take down this Lucy. And if AB does not play this wrong, um, the Priscilla should actually beat um, Lim's final unit, which is Noxia, which is a hard counter. Like, in my opinion, um, Priscilla versus Noxia is literally unwinnable for Noxia as long as the Priscilla player does not mess up. Uh huh, that's a decent bait from AB. They're actually getting a weapon skill. Oh, they're gonna actually gonna get this boss for real now. And finishing off um finishing off the Lucy with one normal attack. And now still with the shield intact. I think it's half of Priscilla's shield intact and one boss lead. It's gonna be Priscilla versus Noxia, which is very much in favor of AB. Are they gonna be able to win this game? AB trying to dodge and weave actually gets a good weapon skill trade and AB should get the weapon skill next. If they launch their weapon skill as soon as it's up, I think AB is going to win this game now. Very good weapon skill. They're cancelling out each other's skills and as long as Lim does not get the chain skill, I think AB gets this win. Yeah, I don't think there's any way Lim wins this now. AB actually dodges the next weapon skill and AB takes down Lim on the Priscilla vs. Noxia matchup and AB stops Lim's streak. He's now our reigning king of the hill. Well, Dos. <laughs> yeah, let's see what Kudos is up to. It's actually double summoner Mayriel. Actually, a very highly mechanical team comp from Kudos' side here. And also, Mayriel does not have the 30% bonus damage from the special ability. So, they're not going to be having like as much dogfighting prowess as normal here. Actually hits the first weapon skill, tanks a few shots, no, actually not a few, a lot of ticks from the from AB's first weapon skill. If AB manages to dodge, this is actually gonna be huge. AB does not get chained on the second one. Now it's all up to the next FP weapon skill to chain this main reel. Is it gonna chain? No, it lacks one tick and I think Kudos is gonna be able to chain here. Oh, but AB wonderfully dodges that last weapon skill from Kudos. But Kudos does get three bosses. I don't think AB got any bosses from that one. But AB does manage to take down the main reel, which is actually quite huge. Now I think um, I think the best course of action here is gonna be to try and um, and win back the boss lead that Kudos actually managed to get. Though I mean three bosses with this comp, I don't think it matters that much to be honest because um, it's a double summoner comp. Like they they just want to um, play for weapon skill most of the time. The damage from the normal attacks usually won't won't matter that much. Usually, wow, AB actually learning that technique from earlier, but that's not a correct, uh, like, that's actually wrong, because you actually saw the box just taken from that side. If you want to predict, you have to predict a bit to the left, because there's still a box on the left side. Yeah, but Sumire versus Ara, definitely not an unwinnable matchup. Sumire can definitely um, get this match if um, AB plays it correctly. Not a very good dodge on the weapon skill though. Kodos playing wonderfully around the tentacles. Actually baiting AB's weapon skill into one of them. And I think AB is gonna get chained on the next one. AB trying to even out the boss lead here. Um, running away. Ara. Oh, just hiding in the corner there. Actually playing around the uh, tentacle. And yeah, Kodos does not get hit by the first skill. So he can uh, actually tank that. And Ara with the six boss lead is now up against the Priscilla. Which should have been a good counter to Noxia, but since Ara is still alive, it's not gonna be easy for AB. Like, I think Ara actually counters um, Priscilla quite a bit. Because of the slightly faster weapon skill cooldown. Oh, but like, AB is actually um, able to um, delay the Ara weapon skill. Actually gets a very good weapon skill there. Uh, well played by AB there. And then, I think the next weapon skill from AB should chain, as long as it doesn't hit a summon. Actually dodges the Ara weapon skill first, playing safe here, I respect it. Weapon skill, oh, it does not chain, I think it's over for AB now, yeah. AB does not get any more weapon skills anymore because of the um, the f short, I mean the long cooldown. And Kudos actually takes this game. <laughs> Based <on> nothing. <laughs> No, I think they said they're joining. Anyway, um, it's Kudos versus Chrome. Chrome gets the first shot. Doesn't really deal that much damage though. Oh, because it's a regen speed comp, they're actually gonna get the weapon skill now. Kudos is 
Oh, Hotos gets a huge chunk of damage from that weapon skill there, bro. One more weapon skill. Oh, but it actually misses. I think Kodos gets this chain skill now. Oh, but they actually miss for some reason. Nothing actually. Oh, no chain skill yet. But one boss lead. Kodos loses the Miril for no reason, I think. Like, that Miril could have been half HP if they hit that um, second weapon skill. Kodos uses the zoning um, zoning tentacle. Goes for the dogfight to finish up the chrome. Does not let them get any weapon skills. <laughs> oh, Kudos using the weapon skill against the summon. Oh, but actually, got getting a boss lead here, Kudos. Oh, who's gonna win this matchup? I think it's Lan gonna win. Yeah, Lan actually gets a chain skill, and now it's Lan against the Camel. Can Camel clutch this? I think it's still possible for Camel to clutch. It is a like he does have a crit buff, though it's all up to um to nothing to actually try and outmaneuver this Camel. Kudos actually doing a good job at his positioning there, making it very hard for um for nothing to actually dodge his attacks. Yeah, Camel versus Future Knight, not really a matchup you'd want as the Future Knight. Kodos does not care, just tanks the entire weapon skill though. Kodos is in trouble now, he might get chained by the second one. Oh, does not get chained. Can nothing delay this? No, they can't delay until the next weapon skill. And Kodos with the prediction, Camel weapon skill in the end, actually gets the win. Two wins for Kodos now. You can't use Coco. <laughs> Kudos instant free someone if you um, if you win with Coco. <laughs> I'll give I'll give you a bonus if you actually win with Coco <laughs> on this game. <laughs> Gotta be hard to maneuver on this map. Wait, uh, it's Kudos actually gonna go for Coco. <laughs> He's actually gonna go for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> now Kudos with the Coco up against the Sana. Is are they even gonna use Coco's exclusive weapon? I think they're not. Oh, it's level 84. <laughs> it's not it's not even maxed out. It's level 84. Oh no, actually almost dies to the Hana weapon skill. I think Kudos Oh, they're actually cheesing with the Amarok weapon skill here. I, I think if they manage to dodge the second Oh! Is Kudos actually gonna chain with this uh, Amarok weapon skill Coco? Oh, fails the prediction. Almost gets it though. Tori was um was under. So close to getting the the kill there. Like I think if that Amarok weapon skill actually killed, uh, Kudos would have managed to get a kill with Coco. <laughs> yeah, but now it's Ara against the Hana. Hana is actually almost um uh, like it's very close to dying here. Tori, Aoi, oh, using the the weapon skill actually hits. Kudos Ara now at half HP. Are they gonna manage to take down the Hana here? They do, but their Ara is almost dead now. <laughs> Ara against Marina, definitely a good matchup for Ara though. Ara, don't, oh, they do get the first weapon skill. Marina, Kudos was not able to dodge. Oh, they actually managed to dodge most of it though. I think Kudos still has a very good chance of actually chaining this Marina here. Depends on the movement. Marina, it's very hard to actually play that unit on this map. Kudos does get the chain skill against Marina. And this Ara is going insane with almost 0 HP at the beginning of the match. Actually takes down the Marina. Is Kudos gonna be able to take down this Beth? No, Beth is actually a good counter against Ara. But Mark II against Beth is very good. However, this Mark II does have Coco Sprite buff, which is never really a... Uh, like, Coco's party buff is not a good party buff for, uh, for Ara. Now, Kudos, Mark 2 against the Beth. Is Beth gonna be able to take this game? Kudos actually trying to outmaneuver Beth is being scary with this ping. 
Oh, but Bet is actually dealing so much damage to the Mark II. Kudos needs to be very careful with this. I think if Kudos gets hit with the weapon skill, it's gonna be difficult. Oh, but now we're gonna be seeing Coco's party buff in action. Skill damage. Actually dealing so much damage to Bet. Is Bet gonna be able to change skill this uh, Mark II? Oh, Mark II actually dodges the Bet weapon skill. I think this skill now kills the Bet. And Kudos with the level 84. Coco actually gets this win. Three wins for Kudos. One more win to go. Okay, now it's the first time ever that we're actually seeing Lim's signature Mono Water team comp. Though the match is kind of lagging here. Kudos with the Mark II against the Ara. I think Mark II does have the slight advantage on this matchup. Maybe not even slight. I think it's a huge advantage for Mark II actually. Yeah, with the movement speed, actually managed to dodge Lim's first weapon skill there. And now Lim weaving around the summons, actually chipping down the Mark II using the damage from the summons here. Lim taking one box. Oh, but Mark II is almost dead. Yeah, Mark II actually underestimated the summon damage and tried to um to approach the Ara with two summons up. Now, Kodos um, with the Ara mirror against the Lim. The Lim does have one box lead here. Who's gonna get the weapon skill first? It's almost the same. I don't know who gets it first. I think both of these guys actually have Earth Necklace, so <laughs> it might be the reason why they um like they skill almost at the same time. Um, yeah. Also, like, AA72 is actually so good against summoners here. Kudos trying to block the attacks with the summon. But AA72, oh, actually kiting, uh, kiting behind, uses the rocket launcher here. Lim is actually struggling to get close to this Ara with the AA72. I think, I think they shouldn't force it, or maybe they should try to destroy the summons from longer range. But yeah, Lim is actually losing a lot of HP on this AA72. And I think this last match is gonna be decided on the Garam versus, uh, versus Noxia Mirror. I think... Um, I think Noxia can actually finish off this A72 quite easily, though this is not, um, this health, is, uh, can, like, Lim can still actually do something with this much health, especially against Noxia, Noxia is quite frail, um, especially since Kodos is not running Ogma on his team, I think, uh, I think Lim is trying to fail the summon now with the weapon skills, yeah, though Kudos does get the resummon. Kudos trying to take the boss here. Lim, are they gonna be able to take down this option? Wow, that's so much damage from the AE72 weapon skill there. Kudos just stacked the entire thing, and I don't think Kudos has a chance to win this game anymore. Lim is just gonna dogfight with the Garam. It's gonna be too hard to evade now. Yeah, Lim is just gonna go at point blank rage and try to get the dogfight. I think this Noxia is dead here, and Lim with the Mono Water team actually takes the first win of the tournament once again. Now it's Ruby Nubi's Mono Dirt against Lim's Mono Water. Though Lim probably already fought this matchup a couple times. Lim definitely knows what to do against Mono Dirt because he's been playing Mono Water for so long now. Oh, but they're actually taking so much damage against this May Real. Is Lim gonna be able to bait out this weapon skill? Um did they get hit? I didn't notice. Yeah, but that's actually a lot of damage against May Real from um from AA72. <laughs> Lim using the Ara. Oh, Illuminubi actually hitting the summon a lot. They're almost killing the summon actually. But yeah, this Mabel is actually doing way more damage than I expected. I thought Illuminubi's Mono Dirt is a joke and it's not actually built. Oh, but Illuminubi does miss the weapon skill. That's actually quite huge. Lim is getting a box here. Illuminubi is just allowing them to get the box. Now Illuminubi is getting zoned away from Lim because of the tentacles here. Wow, Illuminubi gets baited into the tentacle once again. And Lim can actually take down this Mabel. Oh, they're actually going for even more boxes here. Two boxes against the Rook and Lim actually clutched this game. Now it's true against an Ara. Bru is actually not that good on this map. It's very easy to um to actually try and run away from Bru here. Illumi uh, Illuminubi gets hit by the first weapon skill from Lim. Lim tries to hide around the summons once again. Illuminubi missing a yet another weapon skill onto the summon. I think they're overestimating their mono dirt quite a bit here. Lim gets a second weapon skill, just one more, and Illuminubi is gonna get chained. Illuminubi does get the weapon skill against Lim though. Lim gets the weapon skill against Ara and takes it down. Camel is the only last stand, but Camel is very good against Ara though, and I don't think Garam has anything that can actually like. I don't think Garam can actually beat Camel. I might be wrong though. Lim might show us how it's done, but this is actually not going uh, looking good for Lim now. Two boss lead though. Is are, like are they just gonna dogfight here? Oh, Lim actually kiting away the Camel. Camel is dealing so little damage, taking so much from the Garam. And Lim, against all odds, wins against one of their using Mono Water. Two wins for Lim. Two more wins to go.
Okay, it's Mono Water against Mono Light. Priscilla against AA72. AA72 getting some damage against Priscilla, almost taking down the shield instantly. Ice now with no more shield. Lim getting the weapon skill, not getting like not hitting Ice with a single tick there. Lim actually manages to avoid most of the ticks from Ice weapon skill, but Ice has uh, still has the health lead here. Oh, Lim actually managed to hit him. The rocket hits the Priscilla, and Priscilla is almost down. Now with the movement speed, it's going to be very difficult to actually chain the AA-72, and Priscilla goes down. And FP against A-72 is actually a very difficult matchup for, a F for FP, and Ice actually clutched this up. It's also a double tank FP, which means it's not going to deal that much damage against Lim's, um, Lim's AA-72. FP trying to run for a dear life here, still has the shield though, has the weapon skill, can they get the weapon skill, Lim gets the movement speed, dodges the entire thing, shoots a rocket, Lim gets a box, Ice actually gets, um, like, Ice is getting bait, oh uh, no, naturally they didn't get baited here, Lim actually cancelled that box for the weapon skill, thinking that Ice will try to go for the chip damage, but Ice does get the box back, and now Lim has no box lead here against Ice. But FP against Ara is still a very bad matchup for FP. Let's see if Ice can make this work. Uh, with double tank though, I don't I don't think this is possible. Yeah, Ice is gonna struggle against the Ara here. FP with no almost no HP and nowhere left to go. Actually, oh, did not even hit Lim with that weapon skill there. Lim getting one more boss. Lim really does love the bosses here. Oh, they don't actually get the boss. They actually use it for a bait here. And now the tentacle will just take down FP's um, remaining HP. And it's all up to Lapis to carry this game. Lapis, it's all actually still winnable for Lapis though. Lapis against Ara is actually a decent matchup for Lapis as long as the Lapis player hits the weapon skills quite well. But Lim, I think Lim is well versed against this matchup. Yeah, Lim actually stays on the middle to prevent Lapis from um, from easily getting the chain skill. Yeah, like Lim is actually playing so well against this Lapis. I think Lim is actually a very experienced player against um, against Modelite. Oh, but they, they did miss that weapon skill though. Ice, the, oh, does get the prediction there and almost kills the Ara. Lapis can still very much clutch this game, but it's gonna be difficult against Garam because Lapis actually struggles a lot against uh, against high damaging units, and Garam is one of them. So, but let's not call Ice out of uh, out of this game yet. Ice can still definitely cl clutch this up if Lim, um, if they actually predict Lim's movements. Oh, that's a very bad weapon skill from Ice. They're actually uh, messed up. Oh, Lim, very good idea. They're not attacking, so um, so as to not give them movement speed. Like the fact that Ice missed the entire um skill at first there. Lim actually took advantage of that. Oh, Ice um, actually tries to predict the weapon skill again. But in 6 more seconds, it's all up to this final Lapis weapon skill to clutch the game. Oh, but they're out of time. Like, there's not enough distance. They're, like, Garam actually, um, actually managed to, um, to fend them off with that weapon skill. And Ice actually gets taken down here with the Monolite. Was not able to clutch with the Lapis. Now this... <clears throat> This could definitely be Lim's final game. Lim only needs one more win in order to win this entire matchup. Though Lim did lose to AB earlier. But now with the Mono Water Pump, Ara actually gets one box lead against FP. Ara gets the early weapon skill. Oh, eh, like AB actually tanks a bunch of ticks from that weapon skill there. You don't want that to happen. Wow, FP actually gets chained into weapon skills in this Ara. Actually lives with almost full HP against the... Against the Sumire. This could have actually, uh, like, this could actually be a, like, an Ara clutch. I mean, Ara sweep. Yeah, unless AB manages to um, to catch, uh, to catch Lim here. But with Sumire on this matchup, you really want to go for the weapon skill trades because with the movement speed, you have enough, um, you, like, you have enough mobility to actually try and delay the, to actually try and delay Ara's weapon skills. And if you get the trades, you know Ara needs three weapon skills to chain while you only need two. I th I don't think predictions are the way to go on this matchup, AB. Um, yeah, now Lim getting three bosses here. Ara does fall, but at what cost, right? <coughs> now Sumiri is almost down, and I don't think Sumiri can survive um, against AA72 with this little HP left. A72 does manage to get the rocket here. Um, does not hit with the weapon skill. AB, are they going for the prediction again? Oh, does not go for the prediction. Does hit Lim for a uh, for a few um like few ticks, but yeah, I think it's over now. Lim actually manages to hit them with the shot and then gets the final one. It's gonna be Priscilla versus um versus AA72 in Garam. And I honestly don't think Priscilla can do anything about this since it's 
Like it's even three boxes, so it makes it even worse. Not account, not even accounting for the raw, um, like raw stat difference from um from both of their collections. And yeah, AB gets taken down here by Lim, and Lim is actually the first champion of the season six arena tournament. Wait, what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Now nothing with a never before seen forbidden monolite team comp on this map. Are they gonna be able to take the second championship of this tournament? How much damage is this game gonna deal? Oh actually not that much to be honest. I expected it to deal way more than that. Yeah, but Mark II is able to dodge and weave um against most of Gabriel's shots. Gabriel does get massive healing from the weapon skill here. Kudos missing most of the weapon skill, which means his next one will not even chain. Nothing trying to take down Kodos here. Oh, but actually loses so much HP on the Gabriel. Yeah, this comp might have been too overrated. <laughs> now, nothing. Um, I think they're gonna go for the stall and heal. Yeah, because uh, like if they can, um, they can stop Kodos from dealing damage to them. They can actually heal a, a bunch by be like even if they're not in combat. Yeah, but they take they take oh my god how much damage is that <laughs> that's actually so much damage against the ara there just from two attacks <laughs> now this eleanor how much damage is it gonna deal eleanor charging up from off the screen oh manages to take down the summon in two attacks missing the entire weapon skill though thanks the entire ara weapon skill is Eleanor going to deal enough damage to this Ara? Oh, it's not actually dealing enough. Oh, never mind. What is that damage? <laughs> like that, uh, that weapon skill almost one shot Ara there. Can Noxia even clutch this? I don't think Noxia has the potential to clutch this. I don't know. Noxia is a very high skill unit though. Like Kudos. Oh, Kudos actually gets the prediction, but almost dies from one charge attack. <laughs> Nothing here takes that and not show it ease. It's actually insane. What was that damage? <laughs> okay, so so far this game bill is actually winning the dogfight against Lan. <laughs> Gabriel using the weapon skill to heal up. That's so much healing from Gabriel there. Oh, but actually takes so much damage from the LAN weapon skill. And yet another heal here for Gabriel. I, I think Gabriel needs to finish up the LAN before the next skill, and they do. <laughs> How long is this Hana gonna survive against the Gabriel though? That's the question. And they, they still do have Zoe in the back, so Dori Awe is not out of this game yet. Though nothing is dealing so much damage. I think this Hana is not even gonna take down the Gabriel here, even. Oh, never mind. Uh, the immunity is enough. They actually take down the Gabriel, but now this is the Eleanor dealing 170k on a non crit before. Is Zoe gonna be able to take this down? Nothing actually <laughs> spamming normal attacks here. Oh, Eleanor actually heals. And Eleanor takes down the Hannah, and I think that uh, that damage is like irrelevant. Yeah, they heal up every single um, bit of damage that the Hannah actually dealt. Is Eleanor going to win the dogfight against the Zoe? Oh my god, it's actually dealing so much damage to the Zoe here. Oh, but Zoe is actually healing from the land passive. And Eleanor taking down the Zoe to half HP. Can Valencia actually clutch this game? Valencia using normal attacks on the other direction, actually missing the Zoe here. Zoe does, I think Zoe does have the faster weapon skill. Tori Aoi, oh, actually not using the weapon skill yet, not getting baited. Oh, but nothing! One shots the Sohi with the weapon skill! <laughs> they didn't even get the Sohi get the get the passive at 20% HP. They just literally one shot the Sohi with one weapon skill there. <laughs> Okay, it's now the Leviathan Gabriel with the Valencia party up against the FP. Gabriel is, is Gabriel gonna be able to take this down? Gabriel taking so much damage from the FP here. Is Gabriel gonna be able to have enough healing? Gabriel does not use the weapon skill yet. Oh, I think they're gonna be using it for zoning. Oh, they don't. They actually use it for the healing now. FP, I think that weapon skill is gonna miss entirely. Yeah, AB shot the weapon skill too early. Now, nothing getting more bosses here as the lead for, uh, for um to get the health lead for, um, from FP. And also the damage lead. Nothing. 
Oh, they're able to dodge the second up skill as well. Things are not looking good for AB. This is looking like a 1v3 here, not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, nothing. Are they gonna be able to hit the Sumire so much? I don't think they're gonna be able to get so many hits from the Sumire because Sumire does have the movement speed. Oh, but the shield is now down. AB getting the weapon skill against the Gabriel. One more weapon skill is enough to actually chain. Can nothing dodge the next weapon skill? Or will they do enough damage to kill before Sumire even gets the next one? Now, Sumire does have the weapon skill on cooldown. Is the oh, Sumire actually gets the weapon skill and Gabriel gets taken down. It's the Eleanor though. The Eleanor is still alive. Is Sumire gonna be able to escape this Eleanor? Eleanor using the charge attack actually hits the Sumire here. Eleanor gets a second hit. Sumire gets taken down. It's gonna be up to Priscilla now. Can Priscilla actually clutch this game? ABs Priscilla trying to dogfight, trying to get the movement speed. They actually get the form change. But now, oh wait, is Eleanor using the weapon skill yet? Eleanor still has the weapon skill, dodges the Priscilla weapon skill here. Nothing actually tries to charge up the attack. Almost kills the Priscilla with one shot. Will Priscilla get the chain skill here? Priscilla trying to run for, uh, trying to hold on for dear life. Gabriel here is on the other side of the map. They're just trying to look for each other here. But AB is running out of time. Nothing with one last Torment attack. Takes down AB and finishes off the third game. Anyway, nothing. It's all up to you. Can nothing actually win with this comp 4 win streak? One war to go. Can they actually beat the Monofire here as the last opponent in their way? It's Monofire versus Monolite. Oh! Illuminubi split is actually dealing so much damage against this um this Gabriel. Oh, but Gabriel does get the weapon skill first. Oh, and so much healing from the Gabriel here. Almost at full HP now against the Skintilia. Oh, Skintil is actually doing so much, so much damage to the Gabriel, though. Takes down the Gabriel. It's Eleanor, though. How much damage is it gonna deal? Does it deal enough damage to kill this uh, Skintilia? Oh, Skintilia actually ties against... against Eleanor. <clears throat> now it's gonna be Bishop against Valencia. Who's gonna take this win here? Illuminubi is going for the dogfight against Valencia. Does not respect nothing. Oh, Illuminubi actually takes the win! Illuminubi takes down the Monolite team for the last game. And Illuminubi gets a free code. Let's go! 